Okay, so I've just taken a left here by Follies Beach Club, which isn't open at the moment. And just walking down the side of Lin Linica's here, we're going to go and head to Benny Hills. So quite a few people in there this afternoon having a few drinks, which is great. Great sports bar inside Linica's, as you well know. So in this video, we're going to meet some regular visitors to Magaluf in their favourite bar, Benny Hills. And then, as promised in my live stream from Sunday, we're going to take a look at the new hotel developments and circle back around onto Magaluf Beach to see if it is as busy during the week as it was on Sunday. And here we are in front of Benny Hills. Let's go and head inside. Okay, so I'm down here in Benny Hills to have a drink and I've just met a couple of lovely subscribers who are over here on holiday. So I've met up with Linda and Paul from Southport who are long-term visitors to Magaluf. Okay guys, so how many times do you come over to Magaluf? Three times a year for 32 years. Wow, that's, it. that's incredible. And um, tell me, is this your first time in Benny Hills or are you a regular here? Regular. Very regular. <laughs> and what do you like about this bar? Staff are so friendly, brilliant cocktails, lovely food. It's a lovely place to come, isn't it? Okay, so you've probably seen a lot of changes over the years in Magaluf. Has it changed for the better or worse? Or what are your opinions um, about the big changes that have happened down here in Magaluf? Both really. Some things have changed a lot better. Some things I think could be improved. It's like the too, too many rules. Um, Regulations for the bar owners, restaurants, cafes, it's difficult, that's changed a lot, not for the better. Um, yeah, but the getting rid of the bar crawls and all that was, I think, the right move. Yes, yeah. Going back to families will be a nice thing as well. Yeah. It'd be nice to welcome families back, like they did 32 years ago. More fr family friendly. Mm. Yeah. So, okay, so how much longer have you got down here in Magaluf? Only two more days this time, back in August. Yeah. You're back in August. Brilliant. Okay, well, enjoy the rest of your holiday and thank you very much for speaking to me. Thank you. Nice thank to you. meet you. Okay, so as promised in my most recent live stream from down here in Magaluf, I've come back to make an update video about the renovations taking place at the Fergus Hotels and the Tent Hotels down here right at the back end of Magaluf Resort. Now, I did promise I'd come down here on my live stream and I am back here. So I'm going to turn the camera around. So we're going to get an update here from these brand new hotels right down here at the end of Magaluf. So I'm right outside the Fergus Club Mallorca Water Park Hotel and you can see they still haven't done the front signage yet. In fact, this used to be an old BH Mallorca Hotel and well, that sign has been strewn outside, but they haven't quite done the front signage yet. Now this hotel is due to open on the 17th of May. I haven't got long to go actually, we've got just over a month before this hotel is completely renovated and is open for business. It does look really, really nice though, from what I have seen online and it's going to make a big difference here to the resort. So as you may well know, this is no longer an adults only hotel, an adults only all inclusive. It's actually going to be a family all inclusive hotel, which is going to be a huge change down here. It's going to attract families over here as well to use the amazing water park that it has inside the hotel. And also the best news as well is, is that all inclusive alcohol offering is going to be reinstated because it's no longer an adults hotel. It's going to be a family hotel. So the all inclusive offering applies here. Now that means that drinks are not going to be limited, they are going to have beers and wines and spirits as an all-inclusive offering during the day and they're not subject to that six drink rule that you're going to find at other adults only hotels over here in Magaluf and that means having no more than three alcoholic drinks for lunch and three alcoholic drinks for dinner. So it's going to be all change over here at the brand new Fergus Club at Mallorca Water Park Hotel. It's going to be family friendly, there's going to be lots of family fun and what's more you can also have your all-inclusive offering too. Now I can hear lots of works going on behind me, they're doing a lot of renovations to the accommodations and the rooms. Very hard to see inside here so it's hard to gauge how far they've come along with the renovations but hey I see a gap in the fence. Now everything over here looks like it's going to be brand new, check this out, it's all been repainted, it looks amazing. If you've got a hotel booking over here, well check this out. It's going to be really exciting to see on the inside 
of the new Water Park Hotel as well. But this is probably going to be one of the most amazing accommodation offerings over here in Magaluf because of course it has the amazing water parks and the water slides which is pretty unique over here for you, to, for you and your kids to enjoy for every single day of your holiday. But let's go and head up towards the brand new Tents Calvia Beach Hotel which we can see right in front of me. So this lies pretty much just up the road here from the from the Fer Fergus Club Water Park Hotel. You can hear lots of drilling taking place right next door here, but let's go and see if much more has been done since I was last down here in January. And I'm guessing so. Let's go and take a quick look. Now there is obviously still quite a lot to do here. A lot of progress has been made. Again, they need to change the signage as well. That's probably going to be the last thing they're going to do. But again, we're looking at a May opening here. So let's see how this goes in opening up for the summer season. Now I'm just turning around here. We're gonna head back onto Avenida Palmeiras. It'll be interesting to see as well whether they're going to open the supermarket as well, which uh, lies right next door to this hotel or whether it's going to be part of the hotel too. We have got quite a few, but we have got quite a lot of work that needs to be done on this particular hotel. My goodness me. Now you can see why I didn't come up here on my live stream on Sunday. I've got quite a few roadworks up here and it's better to kind of stay on the other side of the road. So not only are they renovating this whole uh, brand new hotel here which is going to be operated by Tent Calvia Beach but they're also doing roadworks as well. Now these roadworks are taking place almost island wide actually I'm not quite sure what, the, what, they, what they're actually doing but I'm pretty sure they'll all be finished off for the beginning of May. So we're just coming up to our next hotel in our update here. We're coming up to what's going to be the new Tent at Mojito Suites. And this is about as far as the, the road works have got. They seem to be making their entire way up the street here. It's quite noisy. So I really do love the design of this hotel. It's so bright and colorful, but it's also now being completely reformed as well and it's brand new. It looks fantastic. They still do have a lot of work to do down here before the new season opening. I'd like to think it'll be done on time. I'm sure it will be, as will these roadworks taking place. Just coming up to what looks like the entertainment area and the pool area. This hasn't been emptied yet. This hasn't been renovated. Still looking a little bit on the green side. Still quite a lot to do in this final month and a half to go. Okay, so now's a good time as well to tell you about an article that I have on my website on MallorcaUnderTheSun.com. If you want to, want to find out which adult-only hotels in Magaluf are subject to the all-inclusive drink restrictions, check out the link that I'm going to put in the description text below this video and also I'll pin it in comments as well to see if the hotel you've booked is subject to these all-inclusive drink restrictions. So let's see if that limit gets lifted for other hotels, all-inclusive hotels in the future. Just coming up round the back here, I literally can't see any difference apart from an improvement to the facade, but we're going to head on now down towards Magaluf Beach. And we're just coming up past the Sol Guadalupe or Guadalupe, depending how you pronounce it. I don't see any water in the swimming pool at the moment actually, I'm not sure if it's open. Yes it is open, I can actually see people on sunbeds, but they haven't actually filled up the swimming pool just yet. So if you are going to have a swim over in the Sol Guadalupe, you're gonna to have to go to the beach, which is where we're headed now. But don't worry too much if you are coming over to stay in the Sol Guadalupe because those swimming pools will be filled up. It's only April and, it's, and the swimming pools are actually really cold at the moment, the ones that have been filled up. So if they were filled up now, I don't think anyone would actually be swimming in them, but the sea is swimmable and it's also very clear. So let's go and take a look. 
Now, I couldn't come to Magaluf today without taking a quick look at the beach. We saw how busy it was on the live stream on Sunday. Of course, there are a lot of residents down there, but is it just as busy midweek? Well, I'll tell you what, the sky is certainly a lot bluer today than it was on Sunday. And the beach is also looking quite busy today. Now, I know we've got lots of Easter holiday makers over here at the moment. I can even see some stag and hen -dos too. So we're just coming down past the Ankla Verde, the hen -do on the beach taking photos. Let's keep walking down. Now there are plenty of people today in the restaurants as well. The beach isn't quite as packed as it was on Sunday because obviously a lot of the residents are out working. But it's really promising to see the bars and the restaurants down here quite busy. I see Tom Browns is looking very popular today as well. This new, much bigger Tom Browns. It's actually going to be really interesting to see after the Easter holidays are over and the kids are back at school in either Northern Europe or in the UK, whether the restaurants are still going to be busy down here. I really hope so. I hope a lot of people will be coming out for, for an early season break. Let me know in comments if you are one of them. And you know as well, even at this time of year, you're going to be guaranteed to get some really nice weather too. You might not get the lifeguards on the beach until May, but you will get some nice weather. Okay, everyone, just a short video today. I'm going to be back here in the resort with a proper guide for the summer very soon. So don't forget to consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Don't forget you can also find me on Facebook and on my Instagram, also called Miorca Under the Sun. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Goodbye for now.